आई एम योर होस्ट नीम बिन मोहम्मद रफ़ी हैर इज़ माई यूट्यूब चैनल जमीर यूनिवर्सल देर इज स्टिल चांस दैट द वर्ल्ड वॉर थ्री कैन बी अवर्टेड एंड इट इज इन जस्ट इन इस पार ऑफ ए मोमेंट दैट द वर्ल्ड वॉर थ्री विल स्टार्ट इट ऑफन देर इज ए ट्रिगर पॉइंट विच स्टार्ट इट A small, tiny conflict can just expand and cross all the limits, all the red lines, and you can see one single Austrian chap. How he prevailed upon the whole German nation, how he hypnotized them, how he brainwashed them, and everywhere and every street you passed. people other had tattoos all they had nothing but they were throwing rose petals on the person which the history proved later on that that was adolf hitler and adolf hitler had an immense hatred for jews and he had a reason not necessarily i agree with him and i'm sure there will be many like me him historians who will agree that this is not the way that you can eliminate any group or any religion or any uh, kind of people however dirty however filthy however scum of this society they are there will always be prostitutes there will always be people who will cheat there will always be liars there will always be robbers there will always be murderers and there will always be tyrants there will always be dictators and this is the way the creator has created this world and there has to be some sort of an order and this is the reason that the creator sent the divine books sent torah on prophet moses sent a bible on prophet christ peace be upon both of them and sent the holy quran on prophet muhammad peace be upon him now it's up to the human beings that if you want to live in peace there is a complete way that you can live and it has been explicitly from how you uh, deal with each other how you deal with your wives how you deal with your children how you deal with your neighbor how you deal with if you are in you know, order to be uh, given a authority to uh, make judicious decisions or be judge or you are a given to be head of a state whether the people just nominate you and they have so much confidence or they elect you or they appoint you is in either way when you have been there these are all you know divine powers which are given to you through the creation through the people of that country call it democracy call it whatever you want to call it but see what how another single man after 75 or less than 100 years has hostage made hostage first the united states of america You, you can you imagine 250 million people be that stupid fools that one man named bb natanyahu which is mentally deranged criminal is not only just a war criminal and a baby killer of gaza and you know person who destroyed all the hospitals all the universities colleges schools roads all the houses displaced them and keep killing at uh, both at breakfast time as lunch time at a dinner time non stop corporate bombing of the most thickly populated gaza belt of 2.9 million people and you can see the blood of those people especially the women and children and he is proud to have all those dead bodies of you know innocent babies who never carry a gun and ask the orthopedic surgeon who removed two bullets from the head of babies head of children deliberately 
targeted by IDF just as they are doing their you know the shooting practice. So when the extent of cruelty is that much and the one single person is allowed and there is no international law, there is no international body, he made a mockery of every one of you, everyone, the United Nations, he made a mockery of International Criminal Court, International Court of Justice and even the interpersonal relationship between the United States and Israel who has been supporting this uh, illegitimate country and illegal country and the country enforced upon the Palestinian people not listening is making fun and fool of even the president. I think the worst president in the history of the United States will be remembered as the Joe Biden, the sleepy Joe called a month with a dementia, who the Democrats knew themselves that this man is got Alzheimer, this man has got, they didn't have the guts like Ronald Reagan's wife who said he does have Alzheimer and he forgets the immediate, his memory is lost. And he, they, they, they let him sit, but I think they made a deal with them that all the 99% of the people who run the White House will be the Jews. So with the exception of this state secretary who is the defense secretary, the, 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 the African-American, uh, the rest all are Jews. So in fact, Israel was running the White House and still is running. And it's unfortunate that for the next six months, Again, till the new elections and the January, when the, you know, the hands are, uh, they move the, the 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 presidentship will move from one party to the other. Whoever wins. So now it's first time this rat, uh, just like Hitler, there would have been many people in general around who disagreed them and they would have shot him. There would have been many Germans who never believed in. Uh, that killing either Jews or uh, killing people who are, it is not just the Jews uh, uh, Hitler killed. He killed even the handicapped, he even killed the people considered that they were, you know, inferior races. So the only people who should govern this whole world was the blue-eyed Germans. So there were many reasons uh, that uh, he did this thing. And he destroyed the world peace and was the responsible for the Second World War. One person could have shot Netanyahu and it would have been all over. But you can see that nobody did it. Hitler had the guts at least to go down into his basement and shoot himself and committed suicide. Netanyahu is one person, one devil, one evil, uh, you know, devil, the war criminal, the baby killer who, who won't even kill himself. Nor his wife will dare and do that or his son. I am not promoting that they should do it. But I'm saying that to protect the world peace, someone should have done this thing. Someone if, with a, with a you know, clear mind, with, with, with a, an honest and a normal brain, normal thinking. Now he doesn't give a damn that the complete, the greatest exodus in the history of this indigenous state called the Zionist state or so-called Israel, which, which everybody knows is an artificial state. Nobody accepts it as a country. A country which does not uh, deserve or follow the international laws can't be a part of the international body and be a part of the same world where the other countries are. It is not prepared to give up.
यूनिवर्सल टेलीविजन को सब्सक्राइब करना ना भूलें उसके बाद बेल बटन पे क्लिक करें और अपने कमेंट्स के सेक्शन में अपने कीमती जो ख्याल का इजहार जरूर